Just keep it pointed towards me without putting your fingers over the camera. Hey brother, here's your ring box. This is our second take of the same video. So let me show you, let's redo this 10 minutes. We're gonna do it faster this time. Here's your base. Looking spectacular, you see it, Glenn? Mm -hmm. good? Yep. Look good with the reflections. There's no feet on it yet, so I've just got it sitting on foam. When you assemble this, well, before you assemble, let me just go over this. What you're gonna to wanna to do is, I would sticky tape one of them here, and or you could put another one here. I wouldn't go all the way down, otherwise it's gonna be in the water, so you can sticky tape it there. You can sticky tape one here also, and or here also. You could also do this, set this one here. The box still closes just fine like that. Or if you can find some little round ones, you can set them here in the corners, however you wanna do it. And obviously this is designed for your dry ice. Or if you wanted to, you can stick these up on the walls like this, and you can put dry ice here and here. Um, you just have to play with it and see how it works. To install this piece right here, you wanna grab it here, I highly recommend gloves. There's a ridge all the way around this that fits inside this ridge here. So carefully, look at it really, really close. Make sure you're right on it before you actually touch it. Once it's gold plated, it's gonna be even more fragile than it is now. Take your boxes, which fit perfect. That fits low enough so that this lid will uh, cover it. Pick it up halfway, flip it, and it's done. Look how good it sits, come over here. Fits perfect like that, or you can dip it and it'll go down like that. Either way, doesn't really make any difference to me. However you can best present it, you're gonna be at the wedding, not me. So once you get your rings in there, you got handles on both sides. This is very slippery. Have somebody very strong pick this up. And let me show you what happens here. These two little titties right here fit down inside these holes and make it line perfectly. That was the best thing we could figure out to do with this. And obviously the ring boxes recess up into here. So some of these really strong fingers come over here. I'm laying my fingers down on the sides to kind of align it. Boom, it's perfect. No movement at all. Once it's gold plated, it's gonna be even a hair tighter, so be very, very careful with it. Uh, we're gonna get this shipped off to gold plating right now. Me and my boy Charlie and Glenn have been polishing all day. Yes, it's Sunday, but things gotta get done. They gotta get done. I appreciate you. Thank you. Let's make about 27,000 more of these, at least one for each jeweler in your consortium or group or whatever. Kill it.